What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It's your boy, the Squirrel. Welcome back to the Halix Squirrel YouTube channel. This is Does Bob Mortimer Crack an Egg into His Bath? I bet he does. It's good for the skin. Learned that with my dog. Anyway, um, I got this out of the comment section of the Bob Mortimer 8 to 10 Cats list countdown that I did. I, I apologize. I can't remember who suggested it. My apologies. You can go back and look at the comments. You know who it is. Just look at the comments. You'll find it. Uh, I've got so many notes and everything. I lost it. Luckily, I had it saved in a window. So here we go. Let's give this a whirl. If you're new here, I do UK reactions. I'm an American who has found out that I am a lot more United Kingdom than I thought I was a year ago when I started this one. I just saw my new update in my, my DNA. It's crazy. Anyhow, I am mostly from the UK. And <laughs> that's what my DNA says anyway. So I decided I want to start learning about UK culture. I do mostly comedy, but I do some music, some sports, and some other stuff too. Music's over on the other side of Squirrel. Over here we do culture, sports, all that. If you're interested in that, hit the button, and I'll tell you what, just wait, and then at the end of this, if I, you know, if, if you enjoyed it, then hit, no, just hit it now. I got off, man. Let's cut the shit. Here we go. It's a Bob. Sorry? Bob. It's you. It's <laughs> <laughs> apple pie tonight. <laughs> Is it? So it's Friday, then? Yes. <laughs> Following advice from Chris Rea, I always crack an egg into my bath. <laughs> <laughs> we should say for any of the, the younger viewers, some of my fans, who, who Chris Rea... <laughs> Chris Rea was a very popular singer. When did Chris Rea give you this advice and in what, what context? Um, I was making a single for Middlesbrough Football Club's um, FA Cup appearance uh, called Let's, Let's Dance, which I did with Chris Rea. Mm. And after we'd completed the, the recording, he popped me into the bath and there was an egg. <laughs> <laughs> it's an egg in it. He, he popped you into the bath. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day, you must be very tired. Yeah. He said, let's just, I'll just pop you into the bath. Yeah. <laughs> so wh where was this bath? Was it? At it, the recording studio. It's on a little island in the middle of the Thames. It's this Rose recording um, yeah. studio. Is. So you've been recording, presumably, in, in a room without a bath. Uh, absolutely, yeah. And then you finish the recording, <laughs> everyone's very happy with the track. Yep. And he says, Bob, you look tired. <laughs> Maybe your joints are aching this way. No, it's not exactly like that. He says, I like that's it, Bob. I think we've got that leg. <laughs> that's your bedroom, that's your bath. Pop the leg in there for you. <laughs> <laughs> is he Geordie? Yeah. He's well, like where I'm from, Middlesbrough. Right. But he's much more Middlesbrough than me, like. <laughs> and why would he put an egg in your bath? What was the thinking behind it? Um, I've never found out. <laughs> You've got it ever since. All, all, I know, all I know is that I woke up the next morning and I have never felt so alive. <laughs> Was the egg still in its shell, floating, or had he gone... No, the white had dis dissipated. Does that work? <laughs> yeah. It's fabulous, it's fabulous. It's non-greasy, which is a, is, a, is a boon, isn't it? Is it, is it non-greasy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, honestly. It's, it's less greasy Absolutely. than... It's a boon, isn't it? <laughs> Water without egg in it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to mix it up, or do you just crack it and let it float? Do you know what? You get in the bath, even in the bath where I am now, and you get in and you don't you really don't want to burst the yolk. So the white goes, but the yolk's there <laughs> and you move like that. And you try and get it to come <laughs> towards <laughs> like that. I, I don't know. I'm picturing him sitting in the tub, getting the water going. The yolk. No one when it gets here, what are you? Suck it up? No, it's raw, you don't suck it up. I don't know, what happened? Oh, why, but you just do. <laughs> Have you ever had a get in your mouth? You get it uh, like that. <laughs> and then you get the yolk, and I, don't, and I use it for, for hair conditioning. Yeah. <laughs> not not that much hair, but to condition the hair on my skin. So, just to, going back to the original occasion, uh, Chris Rea had already run you a bath. <laughs> 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 I forgot about that detail. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but if 
Yeah. You knew Chris, it's just so Chris. <laughs> yeah. Do you know, the other thing it was, is a couple of weeks later, he sent me a gold doily. <laughs> right. <laughs> to dry yourself off. <laughs> So, I'm just saying, these things are just so Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that the way Bob describes what happened to the egg white, is that... He says it just dissipates. Is that plausible? If your plausible? mouth is hot, then you're going to have a poached white. I'd have thought the white would, yeah, would turn white. And well, you'd no, be no, bits no, of well, white. How no, hot no. is your bath? <laughs> your bath is hot enough that an egg could poach Well, I don't know. <laughs> You, your claim is that it dissipates. I'm asking my team whether oh, right. we believe that it would dissipate. Because if, for example, at the temperature of Bath, say, 39 degrees Celsius, the white would turn opaque, then your story doesn't check out. Agreed. Yeah. Absolutely I agreed. I think... <laughs> <laughs> David. I, I think it's fair to say that if anyone else had made this allegation about Chris Rea and an egg in their bath, we wouldn't be giving it a moment <laughs> <laughs> to... <laughs> somehow, coming from Bob, <laughs> it might be true. It's true. I, I, I think... You think it's... I think it's true, cos he's, 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 he's been about oh, a bit, Bob. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's been about a bit there, Bob. Poach. Yeah, the, yeah, I think the egg is the, the chemical part. analysis of the behaviour of the albumen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David, honestly, one thing, please don't base it on the albumen whitening. It does not happen. <laughs> it does not. I can't have a bath at 80 plus degrees. <laughs> <laughs> that is that the temperature at which an egg white will be? Uh... It'll start at about 80, yeah. <laughs> honestly, don't, please don't base it on that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it on, Bob? <laughs> what are you going to say? Instinctively, I believe it. We're going to go true. You're saying Ooh. true. OK, so, Bob, Chris Rea, <laughs> eggs... I think it's true, too. <laughs> is it the truth? Or is it a lie? This is awful. <laughs> I was telling a lie. Ah. I love how these guys. I, I, I mentioned how they just come up with these stories. Or that was. I mean, I, I honestly thought that might have been true. Of course, of course, it's a lie. He said, he said, Chris Rea put an egg in his bath. Of course, it's a lie. It's obviously, a lie. Who could possibly believe that? <laughs> Someone was stuck in a car wash for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a lie. Bob doesn't crack an egg into his bath following advice from Chris Rea. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. That was a really funny story. I love this show. I really do. This show is great. Um, I was a little concerned at the end. I saw the Beeb logo up in the corner. Oh no. Uh, this this is great. It, just watching these pros. You know, comedians are professional storytellers, almost all of them, and that's what they, that's. Someone said, "Wow, what a great idea! Why don't we just use the the natural form of genius that's trapped inside these folks and make a show about it?" Uh, God, Bob Warner's hilarious. He's so freaking funny. He really is. I uh, I enjoyed the hell out of this. I appreciate the recommendation. That was a lot of fun, and um, yeah, I'm gonna have to. Uh, hopefully, this will go through for you guys for tomorrow. We'll, we'll find out. Or I'll be putting up a little community post going, Oh, sorry, guys, I got blocked again. Ah. Anyways, maybe I'll try to get something else done just in case. We'll see. You guys have a great day. I'm going to try to catch you on the weekend if I can. I'm not sure what's going on, though. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. Take care of yourselves. Squirrel out. Mm -hmm.